Hey, Coach, has got a fantastic guest for us tonight. David Weathersby is the offensive coordinator at Triton High School. David is one of the top uh, wing team minds in the state, and, uh, and he's also a, a heck of a good guy because this is the second time he's recording this for me because I had technical issues on the first one. Uh, David is going to uh, teach us the waggle uh, from under center and from shotgun because he knows that all air raid guys are fascinated by the waggle. So, uh, so he's being kind to us and, and, uh, and coaching us up. So, David, I appreciate you doing this, buddy. I appreciate you having me and uh, look forward to talking some ball. Awesome, man. Well, let's jump into it. All right. I'll share my screen here if I can figure out how to do this again. All right. Um, like he said, I, my name is David Weathersby. I am the offense coordinator at um, Triton High School. I was the head coach at Bartlett Yancey High School and um, Bunn High School as well previously. So I've got a lot of experience in the wing tee. I played, played it in high school um, at Southeast Raleigh and um, love it. And the waggle is probably the perfect pass play to me. It's the, what our, us wing tee guys call the, the original RPO. Um, so I'm going to just show you some variations that can be added to every offense. Right here, you have my contact information, uh, Twitter. Um, I even have a YouTube channel, uh, the Fieldhouse. Get on it every now and then when I have something to say or have somebody that uh, wants to talk ball, we'll get on there, talk ball. So go check it out. All right, our terminology. I know. Coach Salas, this is an air raid channel. Our terminology is a lot different than uh, maybe your terminology is. Um, what our terminology is, is in, important to us because it tells you exactly who and what the person is actually doing or the play position is supposed to be doing. The wing back, um, you'll see is a W in my diagrams. He's our most versatile back. He is our jet and rocket and counter guy. But he also has to be able to buck, block buck. In our offense, um, we're, we run both jet, rocket, and buck. A lot of wing T offenses, they're either a buck team or a jet and rocket team. I like them both. I think we can run them effectively both ways. So that wing back is important because he's got to be able to block buck. The dive back, he is the most, most like a traditional fullback type. He lead blocks on ISO quick pitch and he runs buck and power because you don't have to be a lightning bug to run buck or power. You just have to be able to cut and follow your blockers. So he, he's more like a fullback type. The F or fullback in our offense is our dude. He's our best running back. He runs trap, belly, quick pitch. He does not have a lot of blocking responsibility in the run game. He is, he is our dude. We want to get the ball 25, 30 times a game. If you know, know me, you played against me, you know I love love running trap. You give me a three and a one, and I will trap you to death all night long. Um, tight ends, um, in a perfect world, he want to be our best pass catcher. He has to be able to at least get ran over slowly in the run game. Our offense are a bunch of down blocks and just getting in front of people and getting ran over slowly. In a perfect world, I'd love our tight end to be our best pass catcher because he is our he is our number one option on waggle most of the time. The X wide out, he, this is where we get the basketball players out. I want my my best athletes that can catch the ball, maybe a skinny tallest athlete, I should say, as our deep threat. I want somebody to uh take the top off the defense. He has to have the ability to do that, basketball star. Where you go to the basketball team, you go say, hey, I don't, I'm not gonna have you run across the middle, blocking a linebacker or doing any of the mesh stuff. I just want you to do a deep route and a post route. You're gonna be picking on and blocking the little corners out there that don't, don't wanna get blocked anyway. 
first thing we got to do when we're talking about any play, especially waggle, is we got to talk about the offensive line. I'm an offensive line guy. We got to talk about the blocking because if the blocking up front don't match, it's not going to work. On the uh, left here, we have the strong side waggle. That means it's going towards the tight end side. Um, we're blocking play side like buck. We're blocking play side like buck. Backside, we have what I call a swinging gate or a half cup protection. Center's got backside A gap. Um, guard, backside guards got backside B gap. Tackles got backside C gap. They're uh, making a cup protection. And that's basically because we're not rolling out on our strong side waggles. Weak side waggle, our more, more traditional waggle, um, not certain different rules. So front side, we, we're either gonna have an in, in, in call or an out, out, out call. And the guard makes that call. The guard, um, front side guard, if he has somebody inside of him, like a one technique um, and uh, a one technique or a two eye, he's going to block down. That means the tackle is going to reach that end. Backside guard, we're going to uh, kick out. Going to be turn into our kick out guy, and our center is going to block back. And then we got a uh, step hinge with the tackle. He's basically stepping in, uh, filling the the B gap making sure nobody comes in, and then he's spreading out to anybody coming outside. If the tackle, or if there's somebody outside the guard, if it's a three technique or a two, we give an out, out, out call, meaning the guard is coming around for the end, and the tackle is going to now take, get a down block on that, on that defensive tackle, on the three technique or the two technique. The uh, last diagram I have down here is of a true three, three man or a five man, three, four look, four, zero, four. We're going to basically tell the center he's got the nose. Wherever he goes, he's got the nose. And then we're pulling both guards just like we would. Um, that's an automatic out call. Now, if he's giving us issues, like he's blowing up the center and he's giving us issues on that waggle that we may just tell the guard or the guard to just come down and help with the uh, nose tackle. But usually we don't have that problem, especially on the weak side waggle where our quarterback is motioning out anyway. All right, rules and progressions. See it drawn up over here on the right. Weak side waggle. I'm a little different than mo most. Um, I know the air raid from what I've, I've read about the air raid and what I've, I've studied, you guys are short to long. Well, I, I want to peek deep. We're, we're running three yards in a cloud of dust. We're running 90% of the time. If I want to get three yards, I'm running belly or I'm running buck. I want, I want to take the top off the defense and I want to get these guys, these defenders out the box. And the way to do that, you got to throw it deep. Even if it's incomplete, you got to show that you're willing to throw it deep. So that's why our first read is uh, the sex right here. He's got a go route. Um, now, some wing tees, they'll either run an out route or they'll run a comeback. I, I've always just ran a go route because like I said, I'm trying to take a top off the defense and that's going to be my basketball player out there. Just go up and get it. Second, read on the progression for the quarterback is, a, is to hit the drag. And here's what we're doing. The third, third hitting the drag with the tight end because this fullback is coming one yard down. He can't get any deeper than one yard. And what we're trying to do is this linebacker right here or this flat defender right here, he's gonna have a choice. 
is he going to come down on this linebacker or he's going to come down on this fullback or and hope the safety's got him over top? Sorry about that. Or is he going to stay back? And then that gets us to our third read is green grass, move your ass, basically. We're telling the quarterback, green grass, you're going to go. Um, we don't really try to throw to the fullback unless they're giving us real hot pressure um, right now. Reason being is our quarterback is going to be mobile and he's going to be able to run, run the ball a little bit so I'd rather him get out with a lead blocker, that fullback, and now it's an, it's an easier play. Quarterback's not going to be a great thrower because we're, we're wing T. If we had great throwers, pocket passers, we'd probably be air raid or uh, spread, but, but we're not. So we're wing T. Our quarterback's going to probably be a better runner than a thrower. Um, backside post, as you see with the wing back here. We are going to call that, coach is going to call that. And that's if this safety or this corner start getting lazy and they don't start covering the post. We keep hitting them on the drag or the go and that one high safety um, is, is peak, peaking too far on this tight end. Then we're going to hit the post, call it, and uh, usually – if the throw's good, it's a touchdown for us when we call it because we know it's there. Um, again, you air raid guys, y'all usually have the two safeties back there. I never really see two safeties high. We usually have eight, nine men in the box. Um, if we see ever see two safeties high, we're, we're not passing the ball. So that's why I don't draw it up that way. All right, shotgun, pit, pistol, weak side, waggle. We're going to actually run this a little bit this year. Um, we're, we're going to mostly pistol, pistol front so that we're excited about just because our quarterback's a good runner and that gives us four guys in the backfield that they'll be, be able to run the ball instead of just three. So on the left here, you got the shotgun. Everything run, you're faking buck. Same thing here, the F. Um, if you got the slot there, he's just doing the one yard out there, trying to just take this flat defender or if this is a flat defender and make him choose. All this is is putting this flat defender right here in conflict. He's either going to have to go to this F or go to the tight end. He can't cover both. And this safety, if he's playing honest, it isn't going to be able to stick with this tight end because he's got this post coming over the top. And like I said, nine times out of ten, he's going to come out of the break. And if this corner's tight, we got a go route going, he's going to take a shot. Um, over here in the pistol looks a lot like we, we did under center not too much not uh, not too much difference I will say take time to say that this quarterback here the way we teach our quarterback after he gives the buck fake his first step his first two steps he's looking at the X if the X is open or he's even with the corner, he's got the green light to throw to the X, throw deep. By the third or fourth step, he's looking at this tight end or this drag, and he is he's making a decision. If he's open, he's throwing it now. If he's not, by the fourth, fourth and fifth step, he's already made the decision. He's going uh going on the on running. He's going to run. All right, strong side waggle. Um, this is our key pass out of um, off of Buck and our, our strong side waggle that we kind of lucked into this this year. Um, we had it in the playbook, hadn't run it any, at all and in practice. This didn't work. 
we're down to Green Hope um, this this past year um, and needed something. Nothing really was working. We decided to run it and we scored twice off this two two plays in a row. Um, it was wide open and it became our best pass play. This is just basically like again, uh, like I said again, we're trying to put people into conflict, and this is putting the safety right here in conflict. We're trying to fool his eyes, make his eyes lie to him. So we're what we're doing. We're running buck here. We're running buck tight end three steps into his buck blocking, and then going. He's going right over the linebacker. Going in, he's getting in the eyes of the safety. He's getting the eye, in the eyes of the safety, and he's making the safety look at him. And he's just going to sit right there. We got the wing back right here. He's going to come up with the corner. He's taking three steps towards his block on Buck and then heading out to the corner. Again, getting in the eyes of the safety, making the safety have to decide whether he's going to go for the corner or he's going to sit with the uh, tight end that's right in his face. We're not really worried about this corner right here because if we're running this play, they're stuffing, they're, he's coming up on Buck. We're, we're, going to, we're being successful on Buck. He's coming up on Buck. And he is, he's not going to be a factor in the play. If, and we'll see film or a little bit later about exactly that is. He may eventually catch on and see it, but our, our wingback's already going to be behind him. And it's an easy throw for the quarterback. So we're trying to hit the corner, but our second read is going to be that, that tight end that's just sitting there. But all we're doing is reading that safety. In shotgun pistol, that looks about the same um, each way. All right, same routes. Uh, that X is doing getting to the hash, basically getting another eye with the safety here. We're trying to just pick on this safety right here that's really not expecting a pass because we, we're not a passing team. But if we can get three guys in his peripherals, then I think we're, we're going to do, do a good job. And it's a 15, 16-year-old kid. He's going to screw up, and um, we're going to make him wrong. Waggle screen, some variations. We got waggle screen and waggle switch. Waggle screen, I love this play. Everybody's running waggle except the – three offensive linemen, the sit, tackle, center, and other tackle. They're holding for two counts and then getting out to the flats. We're faking buck, quarterback is running his waggle route, and then he flips over to the dive back and we're off to the races. Been a good play for us. Um, and usually that corner, that linebacker, um, they're all the way over running with our tight end at that point, tight end and wing at that point, because um, we've ran waggle so much. A variation to that, if you don't want to run the screen, you don't don't have the lineman to get downfield and, and be able to block the screen, you could always just do what we did, I did in high school, or we did in high school, is we just ran waggle throwback. And this guy, instead of running the screen here, just ran, ran a basic wheel route over here and the quarterback just threw it over the top. Over here, waggle switch. This has been a great play for us. Like I said, ideally, this tight end should be our, our best pass catcher. Sometimes that doesn't happen. Sometimes we have to have a blocker because we don't, we don't have a pass catcher that's going to be physical enough to be able to get ran over slowly. Or, or block on the edge, um, defensive lineman. So we may run this waggle switch with our wing back, who's our mo one of our most versatile ba backs. And now the wing back is flying across 
on the drag and everybody stays the same. Also, it's a good change up because safeties that are facing the wing tee, they're looking at the player, the tight end. So they're expecting the tight end to go on this drag. They're looking at the player because they're 15, 16 years old. I know Coach Salish, I'll probably teach them to watch the play, but they're 15, 16, 17 years old. They're going to screw up half the time. So, uh, and we're, we're going to try to take advantage of that by switching the player, the wing back. He's watching tight end, goes for the post. He goes with the post, and now the wing's wide open there, and it's usually a big play for us. You don't have to run Waggle off of just Buck. Waggle's a great play to run off of Jet. We're actually running it off of power as well. Um, when I was at BY, it was me and my JV coach that made it to practice every, every day. We couldn't put in Buck because Buck's an expensive play and we just didn't have the manpower, coaching manpower to do it. So we just, our, our big play was Jet. Still wanted to, wanted to run Waggle. So what we did, we, we ran it off of Jet. Um, same concept, we did the same thing, except now we just do, had Jet Motion. Um, jet Motion over here with the dive back. Tight end comes over, same thing. All right, I'm doing do it out of the pistol because I think it's even better out of the pistol than, than uh, under center because now the uh, quarterback has a little more time to, to make his read. And if he's going to throw the to the X, the deep ball, it can be a little bit quicker out there. And also, what we can see here, weak side waggle, same thing. Now, only thing that changes is because the wing's going in motion here, the dive back is now on the drag, tight end, doing a corner route, which has really worked well for us as well in the past. All right, non-traditional waggle. If you're a spread guy, air raid guy, and you want to implement this this stuff, um, basically it's it's flood routes. I think the biggest difference between the wing tee waggle and maybe the floods in the spread and the air raid is what I've been talking about. Our idea is we're going to peak deep first. After the play fake, we're peaking deep. We're throwing to the X, and uh, we're going to take a shot. Right there, we can do it out of trips, and then you can do it out of uh, natural doubles, too. And you can play around with this fullback here, as you can see in, in the spread, too. You can do the fullback, whether a bubble here, or if you get a fullback here, you can just do that out route. It's the same thing. All we're doing is we're attacking this flat defender. Doesn't matter what kind of routes out here, we're attacking this flat defender so we can put him in conflict with this drag coming across. Next, I'm gonna show you some uh, clips. By no means are we perfect here, but uh, we do a pretty good job. This first game, uh, we were at Triton, we're at against Enlo. As you can see, peak deep. It's good to have an athlete at, at the X. He's good, going to be a senior this year. We're good, glad to keep having him, but it's, as you can see, he blocked there. All right. This is a good look here. Going to fake buck, tight end 10 to 12, and he just outruns the safety. 
I told you we're not great here. Look at our fullback. Hell of a runner, but sometimes he took a playoff. But uh, we're that flat defender wasn't in conflict, and it gave us a little bit of trouble there. Quarterback did a good job. Tight end did a good job getting out there. All right, this is where he runs. Everything's covered. And he just gets three or four yards right there. Good play by our quarterback. That's a win for us. Right here, we it's a called throwback. God bless him. If he, he gets a, enough on this ball, it's a touchdown. But even he throws a duck right here, and it's still, it's wide open. wide open still a big play for us even if the throw was was bad this is our buck pad or our uh, strong side waggle look again we're putting the safety into into conflict and what i say about the corner he's going to bite on this buck fake here and it's going to be too late once he recognizes it's a it's a corner route by the wing. It's too late, and the wings already beat him. Again, right here, and they even have two two high safeties here. But as you can see, we just get in the way. That tight end bolts out like he knows he's getting the ball. And both safeties right there just, just looking at tight end. And e easy pitch and catch. Again, look at the safety right there. Also, this is a good point. Look at the corner. Corner is looking run all the way. He's looking for that buck all the way easy pass right there he's wide open they got the middle linebacker trying to cover cover our uh wing back there and i don't know why i have so many annotations there This is waggle switch. As you can see, the tight end goes on the post. Safety's looking at the post. Coming across. Good route by our wing back. It's a good look. One high, single high safety. Look at him looking at the post or looking at the tight end. Wing back crosses crosses the field and he's wide open. And nobody's really covering him. Easy pitch and catch. This is waggle screen. See, we get out there. I'd love them to come outside a little bit more and try to outrun that guy, but that guy likes his contact, so he's going to uh, try to run over him sometimes. Remember, that's our fullback type. Good play for us. And that's our waggle again. We'll come back to the full circle. And, and that that's kind of that's our play, our waggle play. Um, hope you get it, got a lot out of it. Um, uh, it. It works well for us, and I think it can work well for you guys. You did a great job, man. Uh, the uh, the screen off of it is nasty. I, I thought we put in a rule 
for you wing T guys, they said you cannot run, you can't pull both guards one direction and throw something back the other way. Oh, Isn't don't, that don't a worry. National Federation rule? No, no, don't worry. We're we're gonna we have uh, we run pa buck one way with our guards and and power the other way too. So we're we're gonna screw you up a little bit. Uh, I thought we had rules against that kind of stuff. No, just like the same rules that uh, have linemen downfield for you air raid guys. <laughs> well, they're cracking down on that for us. So. <laughs> yeah, as soon as we start running our RPOs, we're like, yeah, now they say they're going to crack down on it. We've been screaming at, for it for years. Yeah, no, I'm with you. I'm with you. Well, you did fantastic, man. I, I appreciate it. It's always good to see a, a high-level wing tee guy uh, – cracking open the book and, and uh, sharing the secrets. And uh, and I appreciate it. I really liked it out of the, of course, you know, being a spread guy, I liked it out of the two by two look that you, oh, yeah. that you showed there. Yeah, I, I mean, it's it's a great play. And it's, that's why, like I said, the spread, spread guys, and that's the first question I get, how do you run that waggle? I'm like, <laughs> I saw that, they all wanna, they're all, <laughs> everyone's intrigued by it. What is it? The, the waggle as always gets them, and then the uh, the course the buck sweep. You know the they want to figure out to run buck out of gun, and, and uh, there's one more I can't remember the, the third jet. one. Is, but, oh jet, yeah, yeah jet. They always want to know about jet. So yeah, I, I, but um, yeah, so I, I'm always willing to talk talk to people because I I didn't come up with any of this. This is all stuff that uh, Tubby Raymond and guys way smarter than me came up with, and I'm just dumb enough to just copy them. Well, you did a heck of a job, man. I, I appreciate you doing it. And I, I know you guys are going to have a great season. We're, we're getting close finally. It feels like it's been three years since we played, but we're getting close to getting out there just a couple weeks away. So uh, looking forward to following you guys this year. I know you, you I know you do a great job and you guys are going to have a great year. I appreciate it. Good luck to you too. Uh, I know y'all are going to, do, do well too. You always do. I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. Thank you.